सो हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल विशिंग यू अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर वंस अगेन सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माय एम टेक थीसिस रिपोर्ट व्हिच इज बेसिकली ऑन ऑप्टिमम डिटेक्शन स्कीम विथ स्पेटियल मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग एंड क्यू पी एस के मॉडुलेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द प्रजेंटेशन so this is the presentation basically this presentation is based on optimum detection scheme optimum detection and correction scheme with spatial multiplexing in multipath fading and with qpsk modulation contents are abstract introduction and literature survey objectives of the project considered modulation techniques mimo and spatial multiplexing considered channels considered equalizers and algorithms simulation results conclusion and scope for future work bibliography and list of publication during the dissertation session these all are the basic things and contents which i am which i have used in my project abstract wireless communication has shown tremendous increase in capacity due to easy handling and portability multiple input multiple output systems have recently emerged as a key technology in wireless system for increasing both the data rate and system performance there are various techniques that can be applied to memo systems such as space time uh, block codes space time trellis codes and the vertical bell laps space time architecture and qpsk scheme this paper proposes a signal detector scheme called mimo uh, uh, this project also compares the performance of mimo system with qpsk modulation so starting with my introduction wireless communication networks need to support extremely high data rates in order to meet the rapidly growing demand for broadband applications such as high quality audio or video in this project i am comparing the performance of bpsk and qpsk modulation techniques with zf zero forcing equalizer mms equalizer and ml equalizer for various configurations of mimo also i am discussing mimo v blast and spatial multiplexing technique noise and channel i have used AWGN additive wide gaussian noise and uh, relay channel basically uh, in our daily life AWGN we means additive wide gaussian noise channel is used uh, many times because uh, when we talk to any person on mobile phone then there is a noise due to uh there there is a disturbance in noise uh, and uh, disconnecting of calls due to this uh, awgn channel and uh, also by relay channel next literature survey on going through various uh, research papers books and literature i came on the conclusion that various keywords and algorithms are efficient to solve my problem domain but basically i got help from my main reference research paper निर्मला रेंडू विकास सिन्हा एस के चक्रवर्ती पी के सूत्रधार आर बेराइन एम मित्रा ऑप्टिमाइजिंग ऑफ मीमो डिटेक्टर्स अनलिशिंग द मल्टीप्लेसिंग गैन जनरल ऑफ टेलीकम्युनिकेशन वॉल्यूम वन इश्यू वन फेबरी टू थाउजेंड टेन बाय सो आई थॉट डेट आई शुड वर्क एंड डू अ न्यू रिसर्च ऑन दिस पेपर and in and the following paper paper to jiang kang jiang kong max wong wen men jiang alex b reshman joint design of trans receivers for multiple access channels using mms decision or uh, feedback detection i triple e transactions on vehicular technology volume 60 number 8 october 2011 
पेपर थ्री आई ई टेलाटार कैपेसिटी ऑफ मल्टीपल एंटीना गोजन चैनल्स योर ट्रांसलेशन वॉल्यूम टेन पेज नंबर फाइव एटी फाइव टू फाइव नाइन्टी फाइव नवंबर दिसंबर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी नाइन पेपर फोर जी जे फोशनी एंड एम जे गैंस ऑन लिमिट ऑफ वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन इन अ फेडिंग एनवायरमेंट वैन यूजिंग मल्टीपल एंटीनाज वायरलेस पर्सनल कम्युनिकेशन वॉल्यूम सिक्स पेज नंबर थ्री थ्री हंड्रेड एलेवन टू थ्री थर्टी फाइव मार्च नाइनटीन नाइन्टी एट पेपर फाइव वी टारोक एंड शशाद्री एंड ए आर कैलडर बैंक स्पेस टाइम कोड्स स्पेस टाइम कोड्स फॉर हाई डेटा रेट्स वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन परफॉर्मेंस क्राइटेरिया एंड कोड कंस्ट्रक्शन आई ट्रिपल ई ट्रांजेक्शन इंफॉर्मेशन थ्योरी वॉल्यूम फोर्टी फोर नंबर टू पी पी पेज नंबर सेवन फोर्टी फोर सेवन सिक्सटी फाइव मार्च नाइनटीन नाइन्टी एट सो अबाउट द नेक्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट डेटा रिकवरी इन नॉन लाइन ऑफ साइड कम्युनिकेशन एनवायरमेंट इट इज मच इंपॉर्टेंट before uh, therefore trans uh, special multiplexing techniques with qpsk modulation are suitable for high gain and for high performance second uh, thing is improvement in wireless systems channel capacity range and reliability for this memo exploits the space dimension i have considered uh, these uh, three uh, modulation techniques basically in my project binary phase shift king quadrature phase shift king and uh, क्वाड्रेचर एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेशन बेसिकली क्वाड्रेचर फेस शिफ्ट किंग इज कॉम्प्लेक्स रदर देन बैनरी फेस शिफ्ट किंग इन सम मैनर बट क्वाड्रेचर फेस शिफ्ट किंग इज मल्टीप्लेक्स टेक्निक इज मोर मल्टीप्लेक्स एंड गिव्स द एक्यूरेट एंड एरर फ्री सिग्नल स्ट्रेंथ so let's uh, discuss uh, binary shape uh, phase shift king in short implementation you can see uh, you can see the formula here the general form of B, uh, bpsk wave is as follows signal uh, equation is given by sn t equal to root 2 eb upon tb cos 2 pi f ct plus pi 1 minus n where n equal to 0 1 this yields two phases 0 and pi in a specific form binary data is often conveyed with the following signals for binary 0 as 0t means uh, here we have to put the value of n equal to 0 so that the expression will become uh, 2 eb upon tb in root uh, cos 2 pi fct plus pi It means uh, minus 2 eb upon tb cos uh, 2 pi fct For binary one, uh, where frequency f c is frequency of the carrier wave s one t equal to root t two uh, e b upon t b cos two pi f c t. Next, this is basically the diagram for B P S K transmitter. This is basically the diagram for BPSK transmitter. Consider uh, where binary data data is uh, import uh, imported an RZ encoder uh, and uh, basically binary data uh, BPSK transmitter uh, gives only two kinds of outputs. That means zero and one. Zero means low output and one means higher output. Next. quadrature phase shift king uh, uh, earlier we have talked about the uh, binary phase shift king uh, so in this slide we are talking about the quadrature phase shift king basically in quadrature phase shift king uh, first uh, i would like to tell you about the implementation of this project uh, the implementation of quadrature phase shift king is more general in uh, data of bpsk and also indicates the implementation of higher order psk writing the symbols in the constellation diagram in terms of sine and cosine waves used to transmit them sit means root 2 es upon t cos 2 pi fct plus 2n minus 1 pi by 4 where, where n equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 it means that quadrature phase shift king uh, uh, yields uh, four phases basically in pi by 4 3 pi by 4 5 by 4 5 pi by 4 and 7 pi by 4 as needed 
This results in two-dimensional signal space with unis, uh, unit basis functions. Phi 1t equal to root 2 upon Ts cos 2 pi fct and phi 2t equal to root 2 by Ts sin 2 pi fct. It means uh, four output uh, is obtained by using this quadrature phase shifting. Basically quadrature means four output. So we can obtain four output, four types of signal output here which is given by plus minus root es upon 2 and plus minus root et upon 2 hence the signal constellation consists of signal space 4 points this is what qpsk transmitter works what and how basically qpsk transmitter gives you a binary uh, bit stream 1 uh, one zero 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 one one zero. So D multiplexer. Uh, sorry. So D multiplexer will uh, D multiplexer will encode in into two uh, even and odd pulses one zero zero one and one zero uh, one zero zero one and one zero one zero. And RZ encoder then passes uh, this pulse into the form of uh, formula. E B minus uh, root E B minus root E B minus root E B E B in root. So phi one t is given by root uh, two upon T S cos two pi F C T and phi two t is equal to also given by root uh, two upon T S sin two pi F C T. This is basically the QPSK signal. Constellation diagram of QPSK modulation is clearly here uh, given by uh, basically zero 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 one one zero one zero and one one. These uh, are the outputs which are given by the QPSK modulation. Next. CISO and MIMO. Single input, single output and multiple input, multiple output. Basically, uh, there are... Uh, uh, this is a general diagram for uh, discussing about multiple... Uh, MIMO systems are increasing uh, increasingly increasingly being adopted in communication systems for the potential gains and capacity they realize when using multiple antennas multiple antennas use the spatial dimension in addition to the time and frequency ones without changing the bandwidth requirements of the system single input single output this is given uh, by the in the first uh, diagram this is given in the first uh, diagram basically see this thing single input multiple output is given by this uh, two uh, this diagram and multiple input single output is given by this diagram and multiple input multiple output is given by this diagram MIMO spatial multiplexing basically I am focusing on this uh, slide because uh, my, my main project is uh, this in spatial multiplexing a high rate signal is split into multiple lower rate streams and each stream is transmitted from a different transmit antenna in the same frequency channel. If these channels arrive at the receiver antenna array with sufficiently different spatial signatures the receiver can separate these streams into almost parallel channels. Spatial multiplexing is a very uh, powerful technique for increasing channel capacity at higher signal to noise ratios. Next, in this uh, figure we can easily understand, sorry, in this figure we can easily understand what is uh, multipath fitting. You can see uh, uh, by the example of this car where uh, in this car one man is, uh, uh, sorry, two or three men uh, or two or three passengers uh, are on this car. So different uh, mobile signals, uh, different types of mobile signals are uh, received in this car. So this is uh, this is the propagation delay due to which uh, due to many signals uh, in the one destination part. So so this is the basically propagation delay and uh, multipath fading. Uh, this multipath fading is due to the relay channel. Next, channels. Basically, uh, two types of channels I have used here AWG and additive version channels, and the second relay fading channel. Next, 
AWGN channel. So we can understand the AWGN channel by using this uh, slide. Basically, AWGN or additive head Gaussian noise is a channel model. The model does not account for fading, frequency, sensitivity, selectivity, interference, non-linearity or dispersion. However, it produces simple and tractable mathematical models which are useful for gaining insight into the underlying behavior of a system before these other phenomena are considered. This is the basically uh, this is basically the transmitting signal. Uh, when we add uh, noise to the transmitting signal, then the received signal is obtained, which is given by R T equal to S T plus N T, where R T is the received signal, S T is the transmitted signal, and N T is the additive wide Gaussian noise. Next, what is relay fading channel basically? So relay fading channel, I can I can give you some uh, small uh, uh, some short of introduction multipath channel includes constructive and destructive interference and phase shift king of the signal this causes relay fading the standard statistical model relay fading with strong line of sight content is said to have a Russian distribution Ghost soccer when transmissions uh, bounce off uh, or uh, a mountain or other large project while also arriving at the antenna by a shorter direct route with the receiver picking up two signals separately by a delay. Next, you can see uh, PDF for relay, uh, relay fading here. Received signal envelope voltage is. Uh, uh, is uh, firstly increasing then uh, it is li it is slightly decreasing in this sphere this is basically the output of relay fading channel Prob probably density function of uh, of pdf or probability density function for relay fading channel this is basically the figure for relay fading envelope where signal level and elapsed time is uh, given here you can uh, easily understand previous you can easily understand what is the, uh, what is uh, basically relay fading envelope signal level in db is given uh, about uh, here about in ms and this is the elapsed time so basically signal strength will decrease and increase continuously in relay fading channel. You can see uh, you can see the playlist you all all of you can see my playlist of my mtech thesis project. Uh, uh, the rest of the presentation I will continue in the next slide in the next uh, video. Thank you so much.